Fashion continually changes with time, and so what was regarded as the in thing in the days of our fathers now seem pretty unfashionable that we call them old school. Anyway, old school or new school, fashion remains ever revolving as the trend that we term as old school are gradually wriggling their way back into our styles. When dressing casual, you may get away with some color combinations and style, but not when dressing for a corporate function. Those in the corporate world end up forgiven if you goof in your dressing. In all first meetings, whether it's casual or business, a person's look plays a large part in forming the initial impression about them. This goes far beyond just clothing and including grooming and unconscious body language. Impressions formed by the first few glances of a person impacts thoughts about their personality, diligence and intelligence. First impressions tend to last a while and can be hard to shake off. When it comes to work and business, it definitely pays to find out about the company's culture and dress code and determine how people at your level dress. A lot of youngsters have fallen victim and appear in dresses totally informal with the personal impression that they are formal. Hence, take note of the following. Dress tips for men. A suit in shade of black, grey or dark blue in either a solid color or with pin stripes is acceptable for formal business wear. The shirt should be a light color or a crisp white when the suit is dark. The sleeves of the shirt and blazer should reach the wrist. Do not roll up shirt sleeves as it can be viewed as informal. Ties should be made of silk or a similar material and can include a color and print which provide an attractive contrast when viewed against the shirt and blazer. Stay away from loud color patterns, cartoon characters and novelty prints. Choose socks to match the color of the pants or shoes. They should reach around the height of the calf. Socks made from natural materials will aid in winking away excess moisture. Shoes should be somewhat formal and always clean with a good shoe polish. When unsure, choose black leather shoes with laces since they can easily go with most styles. The style of the belt should complement the material and style of the shoes. Keep air cut short and well maintained and always shave any facial hair. Jewelry for men should generally be limited to one ring on each hand at most and a formal style watch. Avoid earrings and necklaces. Dress tips for women A suit with a skirt or pants or a business dress is acceptable for women's business wear. Skirts should normally fall to the knees but can also be just a little bit above or below. Make sure that the skirt is not too tight or that it does not feature a high slit. If the skirt is see-through, wear a slip underneath. When wearing a skirt or pants, the top layer should be a well-tailored button shirt or sweater. Do not choose a top that is too tight, low cut or see-through. The color and the pattern of the top should be subtle and complementary. Choose a light perfume in small amounts or a fresh body spray. Avoid heavy floral perfumes. Makeup should be light, neutral at daytime. Keep nails well trimmed and glossed with a clear or light polish. Shoes should be flat or with low heels. Make sure to clean them in advance. Avoid very high heels or shoes that are difficult to walk in and also refrain from choosing sandals and evening shoes with open toes. Accessories such as scarves or belts should be simple and chosen to complement the look. Keep the jewelry simple and reasonable. Looking corporate isn't about swag, so tone down the swag on this and follow the simple rules. You may decide to be creative but try to do so within the confines of the rules. Looking corporate shows the mature side of an individual. Look around at the music artists that dress corporate and what do you see about their attitude, lifestyle and music.